We're here in St. Louis uh, for the St. Louis Bourbon Festival, which is tomorrow night. But while we're here, we figured we'd kind of walk around, take advantage of this nice weather and yeah. see what the city has to offer in terms of bourbon hunting. Okay, let's check it out. Patrick's Dogtown Liquor was our first stop of the hunt, and it wasn't exactly what we were looking for. My we face don't. the whole time we were in there. <laughs> yeah. We don't just show you the winners, folks. We show you everything. Yeah, just a little, you know, neighborhood corner liquor store. It'll get the job done if you, you just need to pick job. up a bottle. I think that's you their know, slogan. If you wanted to walk from your house, we're, in, we're walking through like a cute little neighborhood right now mm -hmm. onto the next place. It serves its purpose, but not our purpose. So I get it. Patrick's, it gets the job done. Okay. All right, we thought we'd better cut back here into the studio for a second uh, for a little disclaimer. Yes. And I realized this later on in the hunt, mm -hmm. but we weren't able to actually physically buy any bottles on this hunt. Correct. Uh, we didn't check any bags. This was a short trip, so we, we just took carry-on bags, uh, which means we couldn't take alcohol back with us, um, which for me is, is fine. We have, first of all, plenty of bottles at home, and second of all, finest person. Uh, coming into the holidays, you know, about to be around the corner, I... Don't, I'm good with not spending that money. Um, but Chad went virtually insane <laughs> with his spend. Yeah, so, you know, in that uh, description of the video where it says the biggest spend that we ever had, uh, not really clickbaity. It is. A little bit, <laughs> but we're explaining it here at the jump that that is uh, Monopoly money. It's all, it's just uh, virtual. If he had his way, that's what he would have spent, but uh, it was not allowed. Yeah, all right, well, let's get back to the hunt. Arena Liquor, Wine and Spirits was next, and here we go. These are the droids we've been looking for. They had Makers the Hearts release for 80, not a bad price. A little high for our taste on the Bookers and Little Book, but we've seen them for those same prices in Kentucky. $55 for a liter of Buffalo Trace seems a little high, but okay. And $99 for Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is also the upper end of the pricing scale, but what's up with this Elijah Craig Toasted for 150? The six-year Rebel 100 has got to be in the wrong place. No way that's 20 bucks. But if it is, we're for sure picking it up, along with the small batch reserve, because we haven't tried either yet. Oh, and they have the 10-year old Overholt Rye for 90. Seeing as how this is last year's limited release, we would pick this one up for that price. $60 for Weller Special Reserve is an easy pass. Still have yet to try the Rickhouse Proof Ben Holiday. We would pick that one up. A wood hat sounds uncomfortable. Whiplash Whiskey, now a major motion picture. Not quite my tempo. All right, let's look around. Here's the behind the counter stuff, which ranges from acceptable prices to, are you crazy? But most things were not priced. What caught our eye the most was the Four Roses 135th anniversary because we weren't able to get a bottle the year that it came out. Can I ask the price of the Four Roses 135th? This one? Yep. 599. Hmm? 599? Yep. Okay. Good selection. The thing that I would have gotten if we hadn't brought carry-ons and uh, can't could bring anything back, which yeah. I just now realized. I knew that before. Is that, well, it just like dawned. Oh, your evil plan <laughs> was the uh, old overhaul 10 year. The 10 year? Yeah. I was really perplexed by some of the prices. Um, you know, you had over $100 for the Elijah Craig Toasted, and then back up off me now. <laughs> it's just for audio. And you had over $100 for the Elijah Craig Toasted, and then $100 for the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, but then you had, I don't know, like, what was it? Buffalo Trace was. $55 and then Weller Special Reserve was $60. Like, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Things just aren't weird to me. Um, things aren't it, weird? Or they are, weird? they were weird. Yeah. Uh, but you know, other spirits and things seem to have good prices. Like other types of international whiskey, tequila and stuff seem pretty normally priced. So who knows? The Four Roses 135th. Um, $5.99. Yeah, $600. If it was $3.99, I would have been shipping it home maybe. I don't know. Maybe three. I don't know. Three, if it was $3.50. If it was $3.50, I would have You would take that risk. For $350, you would ship that. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. I guess I should see if they're probably like $350 online. 
first. Can you buy insurance on that? Yeah. Sure. Exactly. But uh, now we got to grab an Uber and go on to the next place. In Toxicology was our next stop, and this was a different kind of store from the last. Great to see a local Lexington, Kentucky brand in here with the RD1 and James E. Pepper. Their variety extended down to Texas as well. Here we go, a realistic price on Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. Little Book the Infinite, we've been looking for this one and it's escaped us so far. It's a little over retail, but we would pick this up here since we've had trouble finding it. Haven't seen this Boss Hog 10, The Commandments before either, but we'll leave that one for someone else. This was more of a boutique store, and although we didn't get footage of it, it had a bar where the owner teaches cocktail classes. On the owner's recommendation, we went two doors down to Good Company, where Chad couldn't resist getting the good old days old fashioned because it was described as nutty. Well, this looks like a good place to take a break, and we want to tell you about our home on the internet anyway. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt, the hoodie that you are wearing, sweater, sweater, Sarah. Sweater. Also available in a sweater, Sarah. Uh, I'm gonna call you sweater now. Okay, um, great. My hat, normally we're all of our glassware, our Glen Cairns, Mini Glens, Copitas, Rocks glasses, and more. Elemental elixir, cocktail syrup, plenty of things for those upcoming holidays, and more coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month, and that is where you get access to discounts on that merch, depending on your tier. Our barrel picks, we've got a whole list of them coming out soon, uh, after the episode exclusives, and more. Yeah, and these beautiful people here. Beautiful Look at them. People. They help sponsor uh because they're patrons they help support hunting trips like the one you're watching right now although this one was uh a this lot easier was, on the on their on the wallet <laughs> on the wallet <laughs> yes but. but it helped provide entertainment and transportation <laughs> all right we'll be right back after this the next day we had lunch at 11 mississippi before getting back on the hunt sarah got a blt where the b stands for bourbon apples yep a lobster blt and of course i had to take a bite and it was incredible. Randall's lived up to its reputation. It's by far the biggest store that we've been to on this trip. And they had Missouri made whiskey along with a tasting bar where you could get a pour of some of them. I love running into Jeffers Creek because it reminds me of the old Weller bottles before they got the redesign. Well, looks like we messed up mentally picking up this bottle at the last place because here's the best price, $54.99. And that's not even including their VIP special price of $44.99. We are very important people, <laughs> but just not in this store. Oh, and here's a Smashing Pumpkins version of Few. Distributors close out. Well, 30 bucks for Stellum Rye is a deal, so let's grab that one too. Never seen these same old Moses before. All three of them arise and looks like they're coming out of Oklahoma. Hey, a Four Roses single barrel. This one is an OBSV aged 10 years and three months. No price on it, but let's mentally pick it up. In the glass case, they had bomb burgers from Michter's and a fancy Frank August. Finally, a reasonable price on Buffalo Trace at $33. And here's our first sighting of Booker's 202403 and at an acceptable price of $100. So let's grab it. Wait a minute, are those liters or 1.75s of Buffalo Trace for $35.99? Because we don't remember at the time, but here they kind of look like they're 175s, which would be a crazy good price. All right, so Randall's. That was Randall's. That was Randall's, nice place. Best selection we've seen so far. Yet another, I, I'm like mentally picking these things up. So we didn't physically pick it up, but I mentally picked up <laughs> that Booker's 202403. 20, oh, I know, in your mind, you got the Booker's 202403. 20, yeah. You got their Four Roses uh, barrel strength pick. Yes. Um, probably, a I don't know, at least one or two others. Also what? about $300 worth of product, mm -hmm, at least, that you were gonna, mm -hmm. if you could, fly with in your suitcase <laughs> with risk of breakage. But no, we can't take yeah. anything, so it's all Chad's mentalist. So mentally, Mental. you would have spent 300 and something dollars in there. Royals Liquor was next and was a great stop. We started off looking at some of their picks, and then down the bourbon aisle we went. I guess Makers 101 is in a white box now? Okay. A new price for the Elijah Craig Toasted. This time it's $80, which makes it not the best, but for sure not the worst. A few more picks, including this Four Roses OESF, which was 11 years and five months, Nice, another Four Roses pick. Again, no price, but we're mentally picking this one up. In contention for our best rye of the year, here's the Bullet 12 year, and a random pursuit single barrel rye pick for the St. Louis Bourbon Society. We don't see many Russell's single barrel ryes back home, so it's nice to see this one here for $75. Speaking of not seeing it back home, here's a Redwood Empire expression we haven't seen before, the Pipe Dream Cast Strength. Let's mentally pick that one up too. Here's that Rebel 106 year, and this time it's $50. 
I feel like that's the right price, but a little bit more than we would like to pay. But it would be great to do a side-by-side -side with the non-age dated 100 proofer. Here's a look behind the counter. All right, Royal Liquors. We do, Royal do it here in front of the yeah. all the it's barrels. Like, it looks like, I looked at it, I was like, is this Smoothie King? <laughs> What's going on? We asked about the price on the Heaven Hill 18, $9.99. $1,000. Yeah, it's in the running for our best bourbon of the year, but no. way, no. not that much. Uh, um, they had a great price on the... The Wild Turkey 70th anniversary was like $59.99, which yeah, is about 60 bucks. retail. Almost, we, um, we paid a little more for our, a little less for our limited I mean. engagement of the Midwinter's Night, Midwinter Night's Dram was $179. Or $170. Yeah. We've seen it uh, in, around our area for 200, 200 at least. Yeah. So that's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. They had a bottle of the new Bookers, but we didn't get the price 99. on that one. $99, yeah. Yep. Ooh, some other good stuff on the shelf, a lot of picks. Yeah. I would have gotten the Four Roses, uh, another Four Roses pick. That oh, would have... okay, okay. So now there, there, at... was, there was no price on that one, though. So this has been a $500 so trip, uh, imaginary $500 Well, more than that. I, I got imaginarily got things at other places, too. Right, you didn't tell me about that yet, but I'm really glad that this is all imaginary money that you're spending. But not uh, money for Chad this time. Yeah. Southside Wine and Spirits was our last stop before heading to the St. Louis Bourbon Festival. This was another boutique type store, so they didn't have the largest selection, but what they did have was priced right. So this is the first time on this trip that we've even seen the Elijah Craig Toasted Rye. They have, I think, the best price that we've seen on the Barrel Proof. They've got the Larson Barrel Proof, they've got the Woven Honor Orphan Barrel, which I've never even seen before. Yeah, I think the best price on the Knob Creek 12. Definitely the best price on the Knob Creek 12. They got an Angel's Envy pick, they got some I mean, they have a pretty decent little selection. Like, it's a small bourbon selection. It's more of a wine shop. They have a cute little tasting bar over there and a pretty decent selection. I'm impressed. We had still 6.30 for the first time two years ago when we were here for the festival. Good to see them expanding. Barrel King sighting on the tasting bar. We'll be hanging out in their VIP room at the bourbon festival in a little bit where we'll run into Matt Porter of ADHD Whiskey. We also just did our own single barrel pick of Barrel King and it's almost sold out so if there's still bottles and you would like to get one, let us know. We asked Justin what would be a great representation of Missouri bourbon, and he poured this Planters single barrel pick for us, and it was rather good. Next, he poured us their holiday one barrel bourbon, nice pick. There was also a naughty pick, you get the theme. Anyway, this pick was amazing. In fact, their whole tasting bar was amazing with a good selection, including our favorite that keeps following us around, the Heaven Hill 18 year. Then it was time to make our way to the Old Lemp campus for the St. Louis Bourbon Festival. We'll have a whole episode coming out soon about the fest, so be on the lookout for that. Okay, St. Louis, you know. What a whirlwind trip. It was yeah, like two days. It, yeah, it was It was fast. Uh, there were some highs, there were some lows. Uh, the festival, of course. What was, was the low? Was great. Um, that first stop. Uh, I guess that, <laughs> I mean, I guess it was just a convenience store. It didn't do anything wrong. I know, but. Didn't hurt anybody. You leave it alone. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, the low was there was bottles that we absolutely would have come home with that um, that we couldn't have. Because oh no, of our it's tragic travel situation. But Sarah, are you ready to uh, recap the bottles that we mentally picked up? I suppose. All right, we picked up the Rebel Small Batch Reserve for twenty nine ninety nine. The Old Overholt Ten Year Rye for eighty nine ninety nine. The Holiday Rickhouse Proof for seventy four ninety nine. The Elijah Craig Toast to Barrel for sixty one ninety nine. Little Book, The Infinite, for $239.99. Stellum Rye for $29.99. Four Roses pick number one that we're just going to call $100 because neither of these had a price tag on them. Booker's for $99.99. The second Four Roses pick for, I don't know, another $100. Russell's Reserve Rye for $74.99. Redwood Empire Pipe Drink Cast Strength for $79.99. The Knob Creek 12 Year for $63.99. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof for $74.99. Bringing the total to, Sarah, are you ready for it? No. $1,120.89. Virtually. Absolutely spent. not. Virtually. Absolutely spent. not. Uh, now, here's the thing if we were able to fly home with bottles, uh, it wouldn't have been that. Correct. I would never let we you. <laughs> I would never allow it. You know, things like that Stella Mariah being on closeout and that being a good deal for 30 bucks, getting in another Knob Creek 12 year because it was a good price, et cetera, et cetera. Those little things we would have been able to hold off. But like, you it know, adds up. seeing that Booker's, the little book, uh, the Infinite, uh, other, both of the Four, both roses, the four picks. roses picks, things like that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so no. maybe cut that and maybe a half to Still, three fourths. Here's my thing. Like, I'm all for if you pick, if you have 
to have something and you pick it up and you put it in your suitcase, that's fine, do that. But you're still taking a risk. Like, yeah. if you're checking a bag and you put it in your suitcase, there is still the opportunity for breakage. With the little book for the $239.99, and you're gonna put that in your suitcase and just roll the dice? Yes, because no! it comes in a, because it comes in a wooden box. That doesn't mean anything. It does because I had uh, when the rye shelf collapsed, I had a Booker's rye in a box and it took a tumble and it survived. So you, well, you're lucky. I, am I would very not. Lucky. You yes. would not play those odds again. No, of course not. But no. uh, yeah. I mm -mm, no, nope, that's <laughs> too risky. I like to gamble and that's too risky for me. So. I see. I see. Stay tuned for our recap of the St. Louis Bourbon Festival. This is our mm -hmm. second year going. That'll uh, be coming uh, fairly soon. And if you haven't subscribed us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There are suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time. Hunt more bourbon.